Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Questionable Decisions. This week, we bought something stupid. <laughs> yeah, at least maybe. Let's take a look, see what we got. She's going to need some work. We already knew that going into it. Fenders, eh, you maybe shouldn't be able to do that. We got the fancy chrome 4x4s. Classy all the time. Running board, got them. A little bit of a dent in the dent. We got a flat flat tire. Apparently we had stickers on the door that are no longer there, so we got to buff that out. We got a top. I think it'll keep snow out. Rain, eh, still questionable. We got the typical TJ rust. Gonna have to do some frame repairs back there. And, uh-oh. Where'd the body mounts go? Yeah, yep, that's on the list. Got the chrome package wheels with the custom peeling chrome. We've got what appears to be a new, fairly new shock absorber on this side, but you go around to the other side, they uh, forgot to put it on. So we got the, the three shock package. We got a custom rear window, appears to be made out of some kind of couch covering from the 70s I'm guessing we got some chrome tail light covers a little bit of mangling have to do some dings and dents and fixing on that got a Banks exhaust system on her we got wires for God knows what <laughs> I have to figure that out and some more of the classic TJ rot windows not that horrible we come back over here and she's got a two-inch body lift on her, but I don't think the mount's supposed to have a crack in the side of it. And it probably should not be inside the body. <laughs> got us a transmission drop. Appears to have a Skyjacker four-inch lift. Springs and all. We got sway bar disconnects. And this another really well-matched green. Nice. Of course, we, we put a sticker on it, so that makes it better. And eh, deer whistle. Yeah, we don't need that. Uh, all in all, she looks like she was taken care of at one point. Until the rush took over. Apparently, was a member of the Buffalo Wrangler Club. If uh, any of you up there recognize this or know anything about this Jeep, I'd love to hear your stories. I think, I think she had a good life at some point. The stoutest stainless steel bumper I've seen on one of these. I don't know who made it. I can verify that it's, it's very solid. Going to have to come up with a winch. Uh, got a Smitty Build sticker on it. I looked on their site. I can't find anything on it. So whether the sticker has anything to do with it or not. Hey, I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me. Uh, we've got one high performance Hella headlight. And we've got... One Savannah put in eh, about 45 degrees. Makes a nice crosshatch pattern going down the road. Windshield's not cracked. Hey, we got a bonus. Uh, come around to the door here. We'll open her up. Oh, we're not. Apparently it's locked. <laughs> we'll go around to the back. Anyway, tire carrier, it's a nice touch, except for the fact that it's only got two bolts over here and two over here holding it on, and they kind of forgot these two, and two more under here, and two more of the holders of the frame. It, it works good most of the time, except for when this particular bolt comes in contact with this particular spot in the tailgate, because it can... Boom, 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 boom. Alrighty. Let's look in here. Stainless steel hinges. Don't have to worry about those rusting. We're kind of sparse on interior. Carpet's gone. Roll bar padding gone. Back seat gone. Uh, the metal bar that seals the, the tailgate. Uh, it's gone, but we've relieved the problem of the water getting in because it goes out through the drain hole. 
as long as the water goes this way and not that way. Uh, come around the rest of the Jeep. Hey, that one works. <laughs> we did do some floor cleanup. Seats are not so bad. Uh, we got the really nice custom removable tail or uh, glove box here. Do some work on that. Uh, we'll come around to the other side and show you some it. All right, so we're back around to the driver's side. I do not know why the door wouldn't open. It was not locked. It appears to work now. I don't know. Open from the inside and that works. We'll have to tear that apart, figure out what that's about. Things to be expected on a bargain basement Jeep buy. Uh, you have to correct me, but the two-tone dash, I, I vaguely think that was a factory option. I could be wrong. I kind of dug into this piece up here. It had a sticker from 2000. The rest of the Jeep's a 97. Thus the, I think they only had this style airbag for that year. The older Jeeps, of course, have that style headlight. This one has the custom uh, removable brake pedal. Eh, you know. And apparently we had a remote start system at one point. Uh, kind of interferes with the the brake pedal a little bit. We'll have to work on that some. <laughs> Seat's nice. Got a little bit of a hole. I think I can stitch that. Uh, we got a few audio files. We got us a CD player. Air conditioning actually works. I'm impressed. Floors, I don't know about white. Looks kind of like white house paint. I don't know. We're, we're going to have to do some cleaning and we'll do some Fixing that, but no holes in the floor other than all oh, right here where the uh, body lift is trying to come inside. And yeah, gonna have to do some welding around that. All right, now let's take a look under the hood, see what else we got to work with. For those of you that didn't know, the early 97s had the latch down here to open the hood whereas this hood is off of a newer jeep so somebody had to make some uh, custom holing there i'm guessing sawzall was involved Alrighty, and due to the body mounts being not where they are we had, we had to put some furniture soft little dealies there to keep the hood from rubbing real bad All right, set this guy up here. Harder to do with one hand. And we've got a really nice custom, custom top of the line yeah, radiator fill there. It's really, really nice. I like that. We're a little short on shroud too. Eh, don't sweat the small, small stuff. It'll be all right. Got some new brake lines. Some other goodies. Of course, to get her home, battery was stone dead. We had to stop our little local roll king, pick up another battery here. See how that goes. She actually has oil. It actually has transmission fluid and doesn't appear to leak either one. Also, if you if you look down here. The distance over here, the bumper goes kind of way back in over there, a couple inches. This side, hmm, it's lined up with this. Further investigation, we have found that uh, down in here is your front body mount for the, the grill. Uh, apparently the bolt fell out. So when the, the rest of the body fell down, and that wasn't there to hold it straight, everything shift it over so yeah, we got you know, yeah the body lines and things are not where they're supposed to be and you end up with little crackies in place like this and things to look at steering's a little tight 
Hence, because due to everything falling down, this particular shaft, which is your steering shaft, is rubbing on the edge of the firewall, making the steering tight. Good thing is I fixed the body mounts. This will move that way and around a little bit and everything will clear. So we'll have fixed the steering as well. <laughs> but that's, that's what we got. We'll fire up here real quick. It's going to beep and make annoying noises. If there's anything. We haven't found where to unplug that yet. But the old girl fires right up. Sits here and makes oil pressure. We got a little bit of squeaky squeaky. There's some antifreeze got splattered around on some things. But it all works. In upcoming videos, we'll be dismantling the old girl and see what we got to do to fix her and make her a, a decent machine. So until then, y'all have fun. Oh yeah, special edition. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's probably gonna go. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Alrighty, y'all have a good one. Try to keep out of trouble, and if you can't get out of keep out of trouble have fun doing it till next time